ein bisschen weiter weg ist, deswegen. Gut. Super. Ja, Tuba Anist, uh, it's a mixture of a physical festival, but also a little virtual festival. Um, you can even say it's uh, analog and also digital in a way. Yeah. Um, but we learned from the pandemic to um, uh, invite some video artists to uh, bridge their distant uh, places wherever they live in Mexico or whatever and send us just videos. And we kept this idea to um, bring analog performances together with uh, digital performances. And yeah, we like this kind of dualism. And to have audience again, that's the most, for, for me, it's the, the most uh, interesting thing that people are there listening and um, sometimes dreaming or sometimes be extremely focused on the noises uh, on the stage. And <laughs> We are very happy about every artist who finds a way to our little community here. And the whole set is the highlight. Of the yeah, set. it's uh, the whole combining every different uh, uh, soundscapes and. <laughs> So I've been to Q3, uh, this is my fourth time uh, at the festival, second time to perform. I think it's a beautiful venue, I love what Daniel and Sebastian do with the whole atmosphere and the the ethos around the, the event, I think it's really cool, it's really different, really musically varied and diverse and lots of different things happening um, and it's just a great place to meet and interact with other musicians, it's great. <laughs> I mean as an audience member it's really, it's really special for me because in Vancouver in Western Canada really there isn't a lot of, there's basically no modern classical music that I'm aware of. I don't know anyone in Western Canada other than myself that plays modern classical. It's, it's pretty alienating and pretty lonely, so it's a really special opportunity to like come here and listen to other people writing modern classical music and just to get inspired by everyone and meet people that I wouldn't get a chance to meet otherwise. I love performing here so that I can come here and listen to everyone else. Um, that's kind of the most exciting part of it for me. Well, I hope that um, this this art, this way of music, would would stay for like it would grow through Daniel Sebastian because this is a kind of community which feels like family. So it's it's nice to have uh, people who are like uh, con like helping each other or supporting each other and 
uh, especially in a good quality and in a, in a, in a, with joy and with, um, with love. I came here and it was like kind of um, this whole idea of ah oh, that's you and that we, we met all and it felt like real family so uh, I never felt that somewhere else. We played uh, like two amazing uh, shows here but I think the, the most important part for me has been the fact to actually meet the like the internet based community on like to actually meet people in person. And even though you haven't met each other for that many times, it's still like when you come back here, uh, you still feel like the warmth of the community. Yeah. And I think that's the most important part uh, of Q3 Ambient Fest. And I mean, that's also why we keep coming back even while we're not performing. We want to support. Yeah. A lot of my friends in the industry were talking about this, this festival. And uh, it just seemed like really unique the way it brought people together. Um, because wh where I grew up in England in the sort of late 90s, uh, there wasn't really a scene for this sort of stuff. Like, uh, I guess more experimental specialist. It was more, I guess, rock music or like uh, garage music, drum and bass music. You know, and I, I liked that too. But you know, I was a, a pianist, and I didn't really see the the uh, the outlet. So where people like the Bruder Selka brothers create this environment bringing lots of artists together it's I don't take it for granted you know I think it's a, a magical a magical thing when it when it happens so um, and as a, a new artist in the scene I'm really grateful to have been asked to play. that this festival has been going on it's been from a distance and we were just lucky this year that they contacted us and asked us to perform and she wanted us to maybe have a look on uh, her compositions and uh, finally we had this opportunity here to, uh, to play her music and her music is tuning. I think it's great also when we share with other composers that we, we learn also so much by, by seeing these other voices and interacting with these other voices and it's also about expanding the spaces that we're working in and um, seeing other points of view and being influenced by other composers and it's, it's very interesting. We are uh, at first a collaboration um, uh, group, so we met a Wim Guitar Festival after Johan Hansen and after we, we play with a lot of uh, other musicians. It's uh, always nice to you know meet people and uh, meet um, you know their music because by music you can meet the. Um, Heart of the people. What can we expect of the future uh, editions? What are the plans? I think the, the way will be um, more in the direction of interdisciplinary things. So we try to bring this year um, some movies, documentaries about music. Uh, and sound design and everything and we want to invite more um, instrument builders like piano manufacturers or uh, synthesizer builders and uh, but also um, uh, it's not about who's the next headliner we will be very cu curious 
who else we will on the uh, will be on the market. Uh, so if you hear us now talking, just drop us a line. We are all ears um, to hear your music.